Biocomposites is making a big jump in the sustainable architecture of tomorrow. The modern biocomposites we mean here, the combination with plastics, this started around the 80s. But much older than this, it began since the pharaonic or the old Egyptian time, before century. And this was when the local materials, the straw fibers, were combined with non-organic polymers, which were the apparent mud that was existing in the environment. And it was mixed to make uh, something that is equivalent to bricks at that time to build up with. Back again to the modern time, that means that the composites or the biocomposites are much lighter, and that is the value of it, that we have it in a much lighter format. And now in our digital era, it became that the fibers are much more oriented in the direction we want, and we reach lightness and automation is possible through it. We can put the fibers and the matrix where we need, where the loads are existing and will flow. So it means that we will have much more efficiency in its application. Sure, there is a link with the new kind of vernacular architecture. The basic understanding of vernacular architecture is the localization, the usage of local existing materials and the local resources that were apparent in each single area around the globe is corresponding to the kind of architecture that existed in the old times. Now, we are in our digital era, we are making a new kind of new vernacular architecture that is corresponding to the digital era we're having at the moment. And by the usage of the local existing natural resources, we are reusing or reapplying it in a way that did not exist before, and through this we're forming new kinds of local architecture. A different design studios started to look at the existing materials, the local raw materials, and they started to re-evaluate the possibility of application in architecture, applying different fabrication technologies and dig digital methods in order to reach up to that. The those applications or those experiments or trials, they are kind of scattered around the world, but still there is not a, no existing specific line where we can exactly follow and say this is the exact line that we need to follow to apply the biocomposites in the modern architecture. If we're talking about developments in the way of applying natural fibers and, um, and resins. Uh, here at the University of Stuttgart and in Eindhoven, they have uh, built up a bridge and, and we have built up a shell construction. So those are very nice developments. But also there is a project in Netherlands that a whole facade system was applied uh, with biocomposites too. Uh, but every now and then there is uh, something happening, like for instance, the Hi-Fi uh, Tower of Mushroom. This was done by the MoMA. A studio in New York, and this was built in around 2014. Uh, in the ETH uh, Zurich, they have applied also uh, mushroom or, or mycelium in in a like a tree construction. So uh, those developments are going on in different architecture schools and in different offices, and each one has his own know-how or combination with material engineers, with fabricators, in order to reach up to that. There are so many reasons why I agreed and I'm happy to be part of this project because uh, first, I'm aware of the potentials of biocomposites in the architecture generally. And this is like a further phase which um, bridges are part of urban patterns and that goes to the flow of the city and um, moves us to another level of applying this very uh, rich materials and uh, further, the integration of multifunctionalities and the integration of smartness in the, the bridge or this format of applying biocomposites is something that I'm really willing 
to join. 